Hi, I'm Lindsay Young. I teach here at Heritage Hill Elementary School in the Princeton City School District in Cincinnati. In fourth grade math, we really spend a lot of time working on the students' reasoning and thinking. Within that, they're really focusing on problem solving and using multiple strategies to find one solution. So now, what we're wanting our students to do is building a foundation where they understand the reasoning behind the mathematics. They understand now, why do we carry that one? I think what you're going to love about math is that you're going to see your students change their thinking process about mathematics. They're going to like mathematics. It's not something that they dread going to, but they get to be problem solvers now because we're asking to see their thinking. I've seen some of my students who struggle the most are now my shining stars because their methods seem to be more efficient than the method or an algorithm that somebody else thought that they memorized and it looked like the right way to do it. One of the critical areas of focus in fourth grade is developing an understanding of fraction equivalence. If you don't understand fraction equivalence, you're not going to be able to add and subtract fractions. It's really important that they master the basics here in fourth grade. Okay, you may get started on these problems on your own. Addition and subtraction of fractions with like denominators first comes up in the fourth grade. And again, it's another foundational skill. The students need to understand when you add fractions that you are adding only the numerators. One of the common misconceptions is that kids will just add both the numerators and the denominators. So kids start to see numbers differently. So if I'm adding two-thirds and two-thirds, some of our students will take the original two-thirds and say, let me steal one-third from that other fraction, I'm going to make a whole, and then I have one-third left over. So a lot of students are being able to be more flexible with their problem solving a lot more than I ever had to. This is something new with the latest standards that fourth graders are now multiplying a fraction times a whole number. I found that it's a really easy skill for kids to understand because with whole numbers we have a lot of time in fourth grade spent on multiplying whole numbers. So students have a good foundation already of what multiplication is. So when you multiply a fraction times a whole number, it's easy for them to connect to some of the strategies they've used before. They can really clearly see that three times one half is simply three one half size pieces. It is important for your students to draw pictures to represent fractions when they're doing any kind of fraction work because the pictures really show what the situations are. So we really spend a lot of time working on different kinds of fraction models and hopefully students are picking the fraction model that is most appropriate for the situation. Without the models, the students, maybe they've memorized the procedure at this point and they know, okay, we add the numerator and we don't add the denominator, but a student could do that effectively but still not understand what they're doing. The number one thing for parents to do is to come to school, especially when we have provided um, some opportunities to learn with your children. That those are great times for you to come. In addition to that, just you know, anything you can do at home to support your children, you know, just be their cheerleader. I think that's the parent's role. The parent needs to encourage their children, be positive, um, ask them what they're doing, maybe ask them why they're doing that. Especially if you're not understanding what your child's doing, they can help teach you. When they explain something to you, it helps them understand it even better. 